Hello, so today I'm going to talk about the Stoko connectors. These connectors are normally used in the vacuum cleaner, in your washing machines, and also in automotive industry like in car, headlamps and tail lamps. So how you can uh, create the symbol for Stoko connector like a two pole, three pole, and they are, they are available till, till uh, 20 poles so I'm going to take an example for let's say for example 11 poles or 12 poles and then I will first make the symbol and then after that I will um, create a create a footprint so let me go through this uh, document this is the this uh, uh, PDF you will get from the website of Stroko contacts and uh, they are basically the, that is the company which normally uh, manufacture these connectors and here as you can see that that's how they look like they are just placed in the in the pcb and such kind of uh, connectors are also called surface mount connectors yeah and here as you can see that that th those are just uh, placed from the side sideways and yeah that's how they look like look like there are different uh, there are so many types and from this uh, we are going to i'm going to talk about uh, 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 such kind of connectors which is called uh, uh, mf mp which means that here you can see that mf means housing and mp is a package packaging code let me first explain you the technical details of uh, these connectors exactly this that's how it looks like and this is this is the connector for which we are going to make a make a symbol and then after that we will make a footprint for that so here is the technical detail for that pitch is 2.5 millimeter positions which means that connecting pins from 2 to 20 so you can choose as per your uh, requirement then wire size is available from 0.12 till 0.35 square millimeter yeah and then uh, insulation is for 1.6 millimeter that the distance between the upper and the lower this uh, connecting pin is 1.6 millimeter and which which is perfectly fit in the 1.6 millimeter thick fr4 pcb so that is the purpose why they kept it 1.6 millimeter then temperature range as you can see that from minus 40 degree till 120 degree centigrade which is really very good and then the board thickness here you can see that here board thickness 1.55 plus minus 0.19 and i think this is exactly the the tolerance range and the, for f fr4 pcb which is having a thickness of 1.6 millimeter so rest of the things uh, they mention here like uh, pitch is 2.5 millimeter 32 volt uh, is the maximum limit uh, and for for the pitch of 5 millimeter uh, 250 volt is the maximum limit and normal current is 2, 2 ampere so rated current is 2, 2 ampere for both as you can see that yeah and there there are different kind of materials here as you can see that for the contacts contact finishing so you can choose as per your uh, requirement so I, i'm going to make a symbol and footprint for mf72338 this one for such kind of connectors so here as you can see that uh, the tolerance and everything is given here and this uh, kind of connectors are available in the, in the different uh, uh, different codings codings means uh, let me show you yeah so here you, this slots for example when you will press this uh, connector inside this then this can go uh, here only when there is a slot here available in the pcb if there is no slot then this connector doesn't fit so such kind of uh, so which is called a key um, connector with key and uh, which means that to avoid um, some if you have more than one connector in your 
PCB so just to avoid that you should not uh, connect here the wrong connectors so such kind of uh, uh, keys are uh, integrated in in uh, in this kind of connector so these connectors are really very useful when you have more than one connections more than one connections in your PCP so let me start with the uh, uh, symbol and footprint for this connector so let's add a new component here in the schematic library and call it as a connector is to go mfmp72380110162 so mfmp is a type of connector 7238 its number and 011 is uh, this 11 is its uh, the number of the pins uh, on the connector and 062 is a kind of uh, key or coding in the connector okay so as soon as you click on OK, so here you can see that it's connected. So here grid, I set it 100 mils. Let me add here one parameter and, and let's call it value. Oh, sorry. Value and the value is uh, MFMP72380. So that's, that's how it looks like. Okay. And here in the designator, we can say it's a connector. And in comment is, I would like to say, take the value. And here in description, you can write the description you want or so for that what you have to do you have to go to the place choose a pin and place a pin here and let's say pin number one we want pin length only 100 100 mils it's okay more than enough and you have to place it like this and the signator invisible yeah so it's okay then uh, then place ellipse and then here at the center of the pin two three and finished and we don't want here 200 only 50 mil is enough here also and transparent we don't want transparent fill this with a let's say light blue color yeah that looks good and that's how we are done with the first pin so copy this and then we just paste it here okay it's too much we want only one two three four so bring it here three four four hundred mils okay so designator is pin number number two here also two and then again I will copy this and paste on 400 mils which means that here just let me check the location of this yeah looks good change the designator to three and then I will copy all these three and then paste like this so 100 200 300 400 yeah and then again we have to change <coughs> change the uh, designator four five and this one is six 
so how many more we do need for 11 pins we need more five so i will just copy the last five and then paste so 100 200 300 and 400 yeah looks good so then seven then eight here also eight then nine and then 10 and the last one is 11 then you have to go to the place and choose here this rectangle and place this rectangle across this pin start from here and you can end here so yeah that looks better then choose the color of the rectangle let's say light blue transparent and the border you can change the color for the border also let's choose black looks better and the smallest here you can choose yeah so that's how your connector looks like we are done with the connector symbol i mean and the next part is then footprint so uh, before i start the uh, footprint let me explain this uh, uh, drawing of the connector so it will be easy to understand during the uh, uh, footprint so as you can see that here here it start from 1 to 11 these are the 11 pins which are available on the connector and this is the key which i was talking that um, during the start this connector is coded with this key so this is the portion which is going to come on your pcb and on this pcb then uh, male connector will directly uh, pressed and which looks like uh, uh, for example like here as you can see that so as you can see that from pin number 2 till pin number 10 they are same the uh, same means uh, they have the same length and uh, breadth and pin number 1 and 11 is different as you can see that uh, here uh, there is this notch on the pin number 1 and then also this because of this uh, hole here there is this slot yeah so that's why the length is not the same as the rest of the pin and in pin number 11 it's having just only a slot here so the dimension of this pin is not same as the other pins so that thing we have to keep in mind so here if you will see that the uh, uh, height of this pin is around so here as you can say that let me calculate so it's 5.5 here and then 5 point this is 5.5 minus 1 which means 4.5 and then again we have this uh, notch here which is around yeah, 0.7 so which means that uh, half of that so this is 0.35 and so 4.5 minus 0.35 which is around 4.15 so let's say this uh, height is 4.2 millimeter and this width is uh, 1.5 millimeter then here we have to also calculate this notch we have to consider here one pad for this pin then one pad will come for for this and the, then one more pad will come for this portion so here this notch is around as we can see that one millimeter by uh, 1.5 plus 0.45 which means that 1.95 1.95 from here till here 1.95 multiplied by i mean by one millimeter so that's how you can design this notch for this this uh, pin number one so let's add here a new component and call it stoco mf mf mp 
ok and then here that is available go to place select pad place this pad at the center and bring it to the top layer from the multi layer so that's how it, it looks like then go go to properties to of the pad stack and then choose here a rectangle and 1.5 milli, millimeter and this was 4.2 millimeter so that's how it look it looks like and in the corner radius yeah sorry you have to choose here a uh, rounded rectangle so now you have uh, access to the corner radius and take here 20 percent to the corner radius yeah so 1.5 4.2 and as you know that we don't have to shoulder any kind of component we don't need paste mask so go to manual and remove this paste mask so right here minus one millimeter and so paste mask is gone which uh, i will show you here if you will go on the top paste and single so it's not there and for example for example if i will go by rule then that's how it looks like yeah so select this and say manual i mean we do not want any kind of paste mask so that's how it looks like and then save it so now it's saved so one pin is finished so let me copy this and place it here and as the pitch is 2.5 millimeter yeah perfect so copy and paste then change the this to pin number one this is pin number two this one is pin number three and so on then we have to again modify this uh, first pin and the last pin so we need to hold here uh, as you have seen that in the in the drawing uh, near to the first pin next to the first pin and next to the 11 11th, uh, 11th pin go to place choose pad and then here one pad here and the next pad here and this distance is 1.6 millimeter so you have to change again the Great, 2.1 let's say and then let me <clears throat> bring this uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 times so so that's how it is and then this one also so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 yeah so the radius of the hole is 1.6 millimeter so hole size you have to change it from 0.7 to 1.6 like this and this one also from 0.7 to 2.2 to 1.6 and go to the properties of this hole here x and y zero millimeter i mean patch tech we don't need here patch tech so make it zero millimeter yeah and that's how it looks like and same for this one also for the other hole zero and zero patch tech yeah so let me uh, edit the pin number 1 and 11 as i said previously that uh, the measurement for these two pins are different compared as 
compared to the rest of the pin so here in this case uh, this should be uh, instead of 1.5 I will take 1.2 because here you have this this hole and it should be there should be some uh, it should not touch with that otherwise we will get the um, design rule errors and same in case in, sorry let me first uh, finish this one so it's 1.2 and instead of 4 4.2 this should be uh, 4 yeah and the same should be for this one also for this uh, pin pin number 11 1.2 and 4 so like that so just to save the time I have I made the pin number 1 and pin number 11 but I will explain you that's not a problem how you can do that so uh, let me separate all these things and then you can see that what is included here and how I did that I started with this pad for example this pad and you know that how to get the pad you have to go to the place and just to choose the pad from here and I'm not going to choose here any more pad so I will just explain you here I will go to the properties of this pad and then explain you so as you can see that uh, important thing is that make sure that all these pads are having the same uh, same numbers yeah if it doesn't have the same number same pin number as your uh, symbol then it doesn't fit in your then it doesn't get integrated in your symbol when you uh, when you will finally integrate uh, it in the integrated library so let me start so first this pad as you can see that what i did uh, i did the calculation you can see the i mean you can refer the drawing and in the drawing here i uh, we we need this pad one point here you can see that uh, first round rounded and rectangle and x should be 1.5 millimeter and y should be 1.35 millimeter and corner radius you have to take 20 percent then uh, as i said pad mask we don't need as we don't have to place any component here so you can put here go to choose here manual instead of uh, this rule go to the manual and just write here minus one millimeter yeah and then the rest should be as it is okay that is the first pad and the second pad you can make this one and it's all it's uh, as you can see here as i said that designator should be same for all these four pads designator should be pin number one and then uh, here as you can see that it's also rounded rectangle 1.5 millimeter uh, for x and y is 1.55 millimeter in this case i did the calculation from the drawing it's not that much complicated the drawing which is given by the uh, Stogo uh, connector on their website and so that that's why I came with this uh, with this uh, values as you can see that it's also similar here a paste mask expansion is minus one millimeter we do not hit need here and the rest remains same then the third one here this one this is also having very important the designator pin number one and then uh, X uh, which is the yeah length of the pin is 1.15 millimeter and the breadth is 4 millimeter and the corner radius is 30 percent in this case and then here you need offset from the whole center i will show you why you need that and then uh, past mask expansion you don't need <clears throat> so select manual and minus one millimeter so there won't be any kind of uh, uh, paste mask yeah so third and the fourth one is this notch what we have seen in the in the in the uh, drawing and it's yeah 
uh, length is 1.94 millimeter and breadth is 1 millimeter and with 20 percent corners corner radius and same for past mask expansion manual and minus one millimeter okay and then this uh, radius part that you can uh, make by going to the place and then here choose arc and then with this dimension for example with this 0.4 millimeter starting angle and it end angle and the radius 1.25 1 millimeter and yeah here also we don't need any kind of paste mask expansion so you can choose here manual and then yeah that's all so let me go back i mean uh, place it one by one so here so the location you can see that here i placed it as uh, all the pins are at 12.5 i mean at center zero and then after that so the location is uh, you need the piece 2.5 millimeter so for example from here from the center if you will okay let me change the grid first so it's 0.1 and then when i will select this and go to the center of this so it's you can see that it's 2.5 millimeter so you have to place place here and then uh, make sure that this both are at the same level so uh, pitch should be 2.5 millimeter this is the first one and then uh, here as in my case it's minus 1.42 then uh, here it's uh, y location yeah and that you can find out uh, where you uh, what what is in your case then uh, I mean, it depends where you have started. Where is your reference point? I mean, so it depends on the this uh, all these coordinates. Coordinates depend on the uh, your reference point where you are starting. In my case, it's center. So if you will calculate from here, like 2.5, 2.5, and so on, then the center of the first pin will be at minus 12.5. Yeah. Then this is the next one. You have to place you can see, see that here i i placed it mm, 0 0.05 uh, instead of uh, zero normally y should be zero but it's uh, 0 0.05 just to adjust look looks better because that i will explain tell you later on when uh, all these pads are uh, uh, come together just uh, remember these uh, locations it's important and designator should be one and here corner radius is 30 percent and important is that offset from the whole center is 0.15 because we have this uh, notch or arc and so that's why to adjust that otherwise if it won't be there for example if i will remove this then that's how it looks like so you have to adjust at this I mean you have to put the offset here then the next one is this pin so let me bring that back and uh, so you can see that that uh, x coordinate is at minus 12.5 and y is at 1.425 this location is very important otherwise they mm, will not synchronize so you have to make sure that this this pad that this pad and this all these three pads should be uh, synchronized the the last one this pad and its location is at center is at minus 12.725 yeah because it's 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 having a different uh, um, measurement compared to the rest of the pin so that's why and the y coordinate is at 1.7 millimeter and yeah the paste mask expansion in this case is also minus one we do not do uh, paste anything and the important thing is that this uh, curve arc what i have shown you so let me remove this that's how it looks like and you have to make sure that uh, you are placing it this uh, from here till here that it should uh, look similar to the to the um, as given in the um, 
uh, uh, this character drawing so let me bring it back so if you want you can take this uh, coordinates minus 13.974 and minus 0 0.018 so yeah so if you will see that then it really looks good and that's how that's how you can make the pin number one and for pin number 11 what you can do you can just copy uh, this pins this three pin and then just paste it here i already did that i don't need to do it again but again i will show you how it looks like so here you can see that the here is also three pads and the uh, length and uh, breadth of this uh, pads are similar to the to, uh, I mean uh, similar to the pin number one yeah here you can see that for example for this one 1.5 millimeter one point uh, uh, length is 1.5 millimeter breadth is 1.35 and without paste mask expansion and so on and here you can see the I mean uh, this is not a correct uh, location but let me place one by one so here you can see that for this the correct location is 12.325 then <clears throat> and uh, 0.05 then the next one is uh, this one uh, yeah so this is at 12.5 and this is at minus 1.425 and then the third one this one 12.5 and 42.5 yeah and then then this one 13.975 and minus 0 0.05 because i have to adjust uh, this curve so that's why an important thing by this one is also that you don't need paste mask expansion yeah and for example when you will mm, uh, take this curve like this for example you have this curve then you can see that there is by default there is no past uh, paste mask expansion and shoulder mask expansion but you need shoulder mask expansion so just go by the rule so just click here in the rule and then it will take the default shoulder mask expansion so let me delete this and select mine the one which i have here and here as you can see that i have selected this uh, shoulder mask expansion by default uh, by rule yeah that's how you can uh, make this i mean this uh, connector top side and then uh, second thing is that uh, as you can see that here they are not only one side of the pcb they are also back side of the pcb so which which means that which means that uh, same uh, pin you need at the bottom side so if you will see we don't have anything at the bottom so what you have to do you have to copy all this and uh, put it at the bottom side so then that's how it looks like you have to just save once you are finished with this what you have to do you have to you have to go here and then you have to just lock this all the things that it should not move away from its location in case if i will go in the in the 3d then that's how it looks like but we have to still adjust the the distance between the top and the bottom and that should be 1.6 millimeter otherwise it won't fit in our um, fr4 pcb i mean fr4 1.6 millimeter pcb yeah and uh, one more thing you have to also connect the top and the bottom as you can see that here uh, uh, in the 3d that 
top and bottom is not connected so you have to connect and that you can do that connection through by placing here the uh, hole so play go to place choose a pad change the number for this designator from 7 to 1 <coughs> and this should be simple round 1.2 is enough in our case and then corner radius you don't need whole size is 0.5 millimeter that is more than enough plate it we need yeah and then rest as it is and the location should be minus 12.5 and plus i think 1.25 yes yeah and now you have to copy this go back so now I can copy this one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So change first the designator to two, three, four, and so on. So you can check here that whether the location is correct or not i'm in x position and then for y we will change uh, all together so i will select all this and then go here and then say 1.25 millimeter for y and then yeah that's how it looks like when i will go in the 3d yeah so that's how they are but as i said that we need distance between the top and bottom layer should be 1.6 millimeter you have to adjust your layer stack man in your layer stack manager the core of the um, pcb and uh, here in my case the core is not uh, the core is not uh, 1.5 instead of that maybe it's 0.5 or 0.3 that we will come to know for that what you have to do you have to go to the tools here in Strike layer manager and once you will click there so here as you can see that uh, it has opened the stack layer and you have to change here instead of 1.3 it should be at least 1.5 and so in total it will be around 1.6 so that's how and then save this and when i will go back here then yeah so here you can see that as soon as I change that, then then uh, as soon as I change here the strict layer, everything is updated uh, correctly. Yeah, so that's how it looks like. So we are almost done. And what we need, the la sorry, the last thing is that uh, we have to uh, make this overlay that all the components should be uh, away from this uh, connector and i think that the final this this part is uh, still missing in our case so yeah we have to do that that i will show you how you can do that so what you have to do you have to go to place select your line and then we have to place a line here um, let me start it this from here and uh, just drag this till here and this line should be on the top overlay like this okay and the distance from here as we have seen that it should be one millimeter yeah. so you can take this one like this and then again you have to so we need 1.8 millimeter from here up oh, sorry so you can continue like this let me change here 
to top overlay yeah and then you can go like this till here and then you need a curve so you can take a line and make this curve till here and then you have to take the 45 degree like this and then you have to connect this point for that you can go to the tool arc at this center and then at this center and you have to extend this till start angle 0 180 and radius should be 0.35 yeah so i think it looks good this one is still on the multi layer so bring it to the top layer yeah and that's how this connector looks like yeah and here maybe you can write the text say it's uh, height is one millimeter and a stroke width 0.2 and then again we can go back to 1 or 0.8 you can change your grid and place it correctly in between to pin number 1 so yeah that's how it looks like and then let me open the okay so now let me integrate this compile and then I just compile so it's successful here you can see that so what we can do let me import the project so I open my project here and let me import this uh, connector I'm not going to do any kind of connection and then I will just export it to the to the PCB and let's see how it looks like that's how it looks like and let me bring it to the like this here on the PCP like this and then when I will go to the 3D mode then that's how it looks like and then yeah it's quite similar to what we have seen previously in the document provided by Stroko connector so that's how you can make a symbol and uh, footprint and uh, yeah in coming days I'm going to make few more videos on this like uh, for different uh, 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 coding and different pin numbers which will be useful for you yeah so if you like my video then please subscribe to my channel thank you very much have a nice day